It's working. Hi, I'm Brenda Knight, 984, and today we're playing with dry ice. Now, for our first experiment, we're going to be ma making a giant bubble. Now, that's the dry ice over there buzzing as it hits a warmer surface. So basically to do this we need a container that is opened, such as this, a little bit of water on the bottom, and you know, a little piece of dry ice. We need to drop it in there, immediately you can see that's going to start bubbling and fogging. And off-gassing its stuff. So then what we need to do is we need to make up a nice soapy water here, and we need a uh, paper towel, such as this one. And dunk it in there, get it nice and soapy, like that. And then we put it just like that on there, seal it all off, and very carefully pull it off. Just like that. And we have our bubble. <clears throat> and this basically shows how much the CO2 is dissolving and releasing CO2. Okay, so now it's uh, getting pretty big there, um, as you can see. And then it pops, and normally, I don't know why this one didn't, but normally it pops and a giant cloud of fog comes out. And, uh, <coughs> looks pretty cool. Okay, so for our next experiment, we're going to need one, once again, moderately sized piece of dry ice. This right here should do just fine. We're basically going to set it down just like that. And you're also going to need a penny or some sort of coin like that. I'm going to put on my other glove here. So basically what we're going to be doing for this is we're going to take our piece of dry ice here and we're going to make the penny sing for us. Here. What we're going to do is we're going to take the penny, nice warm penny, don't put it in the microwave though, room temperature, and you're going to dig it right down in there. And immediately starts to vibrate just like that. And that's from the difference in temperatures um, causing it to vibrate. Just like that. And you see it makes that nice buzzing sound. Now as the penny begins to cool down with the dry ice, it begins to slowly stop. Uh, you blow on it, it, it begins to frost, just like the dry ice. So that means your penny is over with, meaning that the temperatures are pretty much almost exactly alike. Okay, for our next experiment here, we're going to need is a few small pieces of dry ice here. Just like that. Just something that would basically be able to fit through this opening on this bottle here. And you're basically just going to get them in there. Here. And basically you see it starts to bubble and fog a little bit. So you get some more. bunch in there. And basically what we're making is, yes, a fog machine, but we're also making sparkling water, you know, carbonated water, club soda, just like uh, what's in sodas, basically. And whatever you do, though, this container cannot be sealed off at all, um, so otherwise you just made a bomb that you have no idea when it's going to go off. Shake it up in there. This could take a little while here for all just to basically work in there and uh, off gas. And yeah, you just want to load the whole thing full of dry ice. So 
it's basically yeah, you just basically add in some CO2. Um, and basically it'll just off gas and bubble like that. But basically what's going on is the CO2 is bubbling up through the water, and as it goes up, some of it dissolves in the water, uh, which creates a very faint solution of carbonic acid or soda water. Most of it, though, can come out in the solution and create those suds that we all know about. Also, you got to be very careful when you do this. If you squeeze it, it make little smoke things if you do it right. And just like that. So we continue waiting. Okay, so while this is off gas and we're making our carbonated water over here, what we're going to do is I'm going to do an experiment to show that it's actually a gas that's basically uh, evaporating and from a solid to a gas. So what you're going to need is a large Ziploc bag. It cannot be a locking bag. Um, then basically you're going to put in a little bit of warm water. And a little piece of dry ice. And you make a very faint seal with like a little opening at the end there. Now I'm not doing this with a water bowl because otherwise I've got a bomb on my hands here. Just like that. <laughs> and so basically, it's the water is heating it up and basically causing it to off gas like that. Make sure it's nice and sealed. Just like that. But how do we know that it's actually CO2? Well. As we all know, fire will not work in air. So you can use a little lighter, stick it in there, and it should go out. And if it doesn't go out, it's not CO2. Then it's probably oxygen or something. The lighter here, just like that. But first, you carefully open up your bag here. Light it, it goes right out. Right out. Right out. Right out. Just like that. <clears throat> and so that's basically how you know that it is not some other gas because otherwise it would, would not be going out. And another way that you can prove that this is also off gassing is put in some soapy water. Just like that. And immediately it starts to foam up with a whole bunch of little foggy bubbles that look like little beehives combs. As you should see in a moment. Just add another chunk, but yeah, as you can see, it really begins to poof upwards. like that. Okay, as you can see, it's been growing. Now, what you can do, take your little flame here, if this was oxygen, then that would go up. As opposed to put out our little flame here. So it puts out the flame every time. So, that's it, CO2. It's definitely off-gassing, going from a solid to a gas. Creating our little bubbles. Ooh, that feels funny. <laughs> Alright, so if you remember our sparkling water experiment here, that's all basically gone, and now we have got carbonated water. And to prove that, watch this. So, basically, all we do is put our little cap on here. And, very hard. Alrighty. Just like that, see? A carbonated water. Nice, cold, and very weird tasting. Now, if you want to uh, spice it up, you can add some flavoring, like vanilla and definitely a lot of sugar. It basically makes sort of like a little 
soda. Alright, so you're going to need like a funnel or something, a lot of sugar, and I'm going to do vanilla and a little bit of coconut. So basically you're going to need a lot of sugar, just add some sweetness until you think it's good for you, because I don't know what exactly you're going for. Could be a kid and really want a lot of sweetness. Oh yeah, that is the problem with shaking it though. Definitely tasting better, a little more. That's enough. Now I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. That's going to be on my main flavor here. Just like that. Not too much. And a very small hint of coconut. So I don't want a lot. It smells really good. There we go. More than enough. And just like that, now I just need to shake it all up, and it should be all good. Now your treat is done. Mm, that tastes really good, actually. <laughs> and thank you, once again, that was Brendan98 for